virtual. Uh, I haven't sent you a video in a while and uh, today is a special week where we're just going to take some time to connect and get to know one another because we know how valuable community is to building the vulnerability to being in a group together as we study God's word. And that said, next week we'll actually be looking at God as our king in Psalm 47, which is timely and purposeful and intentional to be the day after the election for you guys. Uh, so we'll be looking at that. But in the meantime, I've been reflecting personally on Psalm 46, and I feel like this Psalm just keeps showing up in place after place. And I was recently convicted that I have been functioning kind of out of a posture of sadness and discouragement and even defeat. And as I've been reading this Psalm and studying it, my heart has been encouraged and reminded that we serve a God where there is absolutely no defeat. He is the Lord of hosts, which means he is the Lord of an army of angels who are fighting battle all the time on his behalf. And that this Lord of hosts is our help and the whole earth is at his feet and under his feet and under his control. And just by the words of his voice, the earth melts. There's just such power in this God that we serve. And where he dwells, which is in us, there is protection. We are his temple, his city. And his voice can cause all things to cease. And so if you're like me, I've been struggling so much in this time. And for me personally, I know for some it's politics, for others it's this racial conversation, and for others it's the COVID. Well, for me, it's been COVID. It's just hit me hard in a lot of different ways, and I felt so much defeat in that. And yet I am reminded that God is fully in control. He's sovereign. He sees all things. He's not surprised by anything that ha that's happening in our world. It's all by, by his um, sovereign plan that he's allowing it to occur. And so then I have to trust that there's something he's wanting to do in my heart and something he's wanting to do in my mind in the midst of that. And um, that there's a wrestling, what I just describe as a <sighs> that I experience in my mind and heart. And I'm guessing many of you might experience that. <sighs> and when we feel that, um, the battle is really within us. It's not the battle that's happening outside of us, that God wants to move in. And in the song that I, I'm going to have you guys listen to as a reflection, and hopefully you will, um, it says that the, the wrestling, come wrestle in me and win. So we want him doing the work in us, and we want him to win. We want him to have victory in our mind and heart, even more so than we want him to have victory in the world, so that he has us. Um, so... Finally, in this psalm, the last thing we see is he says, our call in the midst of this, as we behold who he is, is just to be still and know that he is God, to live out of that confidence. So my encouragement to you, as I've been encouraged by this passage, let us be women who are being still and reminding ourselves of who God is and what he is doing and how everything that's happening in this world is under his control. Let's pray. Father, we thank you uh, that you are with us, that you are a God who sees us, that you know us, that you care deeply for us. And we just ask even now that you would remind us of who you are, remind us of the truth of your control and your power, and that that brings peace and calm and rest for our souls, even when there's chaos happening around us, even when the world is falling apart, so to speak, there is nothing outside of your hand. And so, Father, we want to be people who just rest in your hand, that we rest in knowing who you are and that you have this and that we can um, that we can be moved and changed in the midst of this. So that's the work we ask you to do, God, that you would change our hearts, that you would move in us and show us who you are. Come wrestle in us and win. That's our prayer, God. We pray this in your name. Amen. All right. Enjoy connecting. And for those of you who aren't part of a group, uh, enjoy your week, and I hope your reflection in Psalm, uh, your reflection and meditation in Psalm 46 proves to be um, a place where God speaks to you. All right, have a good one. <laughs>